A 10-2 aggregate win uh, for Pep Guardiola's side, uh, the second largest in Champions League uh, knockout uh, history. Um, would you say it was in any way flattering on them, Graham? <laughs> not at all, not at all. Um, often puffed a wee bit in the first game, didn't they? Um, but ran out winners. Tonight, it was just a formality, an absolute procession against a very, very <sighs> dispirited German team. They, they, they arrived knowing they had no chance. And that's and after what the first goal goes in, they capitulated just through the towel. In. Very disappointing. You know, you get to the knockout stages of this great competition, and you've got such averageness in it, like they were tonight. Yeah. Very, very poor. Yeah, just to I mean, I mean, get the right context as we don't want to take away from City unless it's it's warranted. But just how poor was the opposition in this tie, they, Niall, for you? They, they were actually okay for 35 minutes, and they seemed well set up, and they were causing uh, they were causing no problems on the ball, but they were causing um, City some problems until this moment when you know ridiculously Bruma decides to to turn his back on the ball and jump into the onrushing Bernardo Silva and the referee blew straight away, didn't want any VAR with that and he's been really cheeky there scoring the Panenka and as Graham said earlier, the goalkeeper probably wanted to go and boot him as, as far as he could. See this one here, this, um, Sterling, he's, at no time is he looking at Aguero so he must get a shout from him big time. At no time was he, did he turn and look over his shoulder. Again, the right back there defending makes it so easy for Sami. It's quite a few of the goals. Look at, uh, sorry, look at this. He's now getting a race with him now, but he doesn't. He, he spins and, and turns a hole through him in 60. See where he ends up? He ends up from 15 yards away from him. Yeah. I mean, the defending, once the first goal went in, the defending was. Yeah. You would see it, it you'd see it uh, pub football. <laughs> Putting aside Schalke then, Graham, as we look at the second half goals, quite a few of, of the goals are, are goals, types of goals we've seen before from City and types of moves that suggest almost there's a telepathy going on between these players at this stage. No, they all know what understanding. Doing. The whole idea that they get the ball as quick, this is a great finish. You know, we, we spoke before the game about he's starting to finish with some aplomb now. You know, he, he had a habit of kicking the ball into the ground a lot of the time. Now he's, he's this season anyway. You know he's got lovely clear strikes. Well, the goals are, are slick, aren't they? But, but they're getting aided by some very poor defending and poor yeah. goalkeeping tonight. But it, 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 you know, it reminds me there was a time when Arsenal used to try and walk the ball into the net. They were you know tipping it to everybody, everybody, and they, they seemed to really enjoy themselves, especially against weaker teams. And that's what this City team are doing. They're, they're, we're talking about a dispirited. German side, but they're dispirited because as soon as the, as the gates opened, the floodgates opened, it was it was a not, nonsense of an event. Kevin, it, it was a Champions League knockout game. It felt like one of those cup ties, the Burton Albion game or yeah. the Newport game that the, the city say, yeah. city won uh, uh, at a canter, which is a very hard thing to judge how good City are and how seriously seriously they're going to contend for the in the in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I think I think, I think that's fair. They're, they're going to play against a much better mm. caliber of opposition. But we said it before the game tonight that the, the first game they got a bit lucky that it was three two and, and City went down. Out of 10 men. It, it kind of flattered Schalke in the first game because they offered nothing really going forward. And tonight, I felt it would be, as Graham maybe said, on a procession, I felt it would be an easy night for them. They were always going to score goals and make chances tonight. And it proved that way because they're not good enough. Look at the position in the Bundesliga, yeah. which is a weak league as it is. I'm not, yeah. it's, it is. So I could never was. imagine a Premier League team playing like that. You know, it's as if. And I, think it, I think we said the same about Dortmund against Tottenham, they're losing, they yeah. just kept playing. There was no anger or fire or, you know, a change in them. And that's how, oh, we've lost one goal, we've lost four goals. Just keep playing away with no real aggression. It was a mismatch in but the that, end. That worries me about German football. 